Hi, it's Matt here for Newshooter.com at NAB 2014, and I'm at the Black Magic booth with Kendall. Now, Kendall, this is one of Black Magic's two new cameras. That's right. What's this called? And just give me a basic rundown of the specs. Sure. This is called Ursa, and it's our uh, 4K production camera. So it's really designed more of a workflow camera. So you can see here we have a touch screen on the side. There's actually a touch screen on the other side. And you can have an audio person here going through all the scopes. You can have someone pulling uh, focus assist over here on the other side. It has a super 35 size sensor in here, so it has 12 stops of dynamic range, global shutter. And then also, you can see here on the back, we've rigged it up so that you can actually add in a plate and hook up your own batteries to it. Of course, you have SDI connections here in and out. You have ref reference sync so you can do uh, gen lock, things like that, time code in and out. And then here you can see it has an SDI out and actually a 12 volt power. So if you want to do your own eyepiece here or hook up another monitor, you can do that right in here. All your XLR audio is in here. And the really nice thing about this camera, if I can swing it around here for you, is you can see this beautiful 10 inch screen here. So you could have the DOP looking at the screen and have the other two guys working on the camera. It actually records here to the CFAST cards. So the CFAST will fill up here and then there's actually another one here and you can go directly to that. When it, when it starts recording uh, too much material on there. Menu options, hit this on here, and it's all touch screen, which is really cool. Just like in our other cameras, you can go through the menu options in there. Iris control, focus, and of course you have other buttons here, depending on how you're gonna work. The really crazy thing about this camera that people are gonna love is that you can change out the mounts on this, and you can change out the sensor. So initially, there's gonna be two, uh, two versions shipping in July. There'll be a PL mount and an EF mount, and what will happen is you can take out the sensor as sensors come along and improve and you can actually, customer can go in and change that out on their own. So prices are the PL mount will be $6,500 US and the EF will be 6000 Down the road towards the end of the year I'll see a B4 mount and then there's also one that doesn't have a sensor in it at all and you can set, like if you have a favorite DSLR camera, you can actually set this on here and go HDMI and use the body of the camera and all the pieces here, all the features. As the recording mechanism. Yes, exactly. As it, yep. Okay, now what was with what was Blackmagic's thought in completely redesigning a camera, going away from your previous designs and going with something uh, along along these lines? What was the thought process well, behind that? You know, we are still supporting the other cameras, of course, and the, and the reasons those cameras came out were they're, they're obviously more intimate, smaller cameras to get in tight places that you can go out as a one-person shoot. You can rig those cameras up, as you know, through third parties and really customize them the way you want. Wanted to move into something like this. Uh, the other thing, the, way, the other reason why this camera is built the way it is that I forgot to tell you was that it can get up to the high frame rate, 60 frames a second. So they really wanted to make something that had XLR built in, the battery pack and everything else, right in the camera so you can go out and do full production right off the bat, not worry about having to rig it up with anything. Okay, now this is a question you probably won't be able to answer, but uh, when's the expected shipping date? Oh no, I can't. July is what they're expecting on this camera, yeah. Okay, great. Thanks very much for your time. Thank you.